Elizabeth Gungals, and today I am here with an episode of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Purses. All right, y'all, today we are here in my kitchen to look at the Hiding Hilda bag that I got from Jessie, where she got it at the NRA Commission in Dallas this last year. Um, we're in my kitchen because hashtag toddler mom problems, it's the only clean service I have right now. So, <laughs> on. Anyway, so. Um, I've carried this for about a week, um, just for the sole purpose of testing it out for a full straight week. Um, my first thoughts, when I first got it, I love the color, I love purple, um, and this is, this reminds me actually very similar to my first diaper bag when I had my young one. Um, so I really like that. If I had gotten this Let's just say I would have jumped on this if I saw this when I was pregnant. Um, it is a concealed carry bag, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, the front has one little pocket here. It's got some really nice long shoulder. And then it does have a spot for like um, a really longer heart thing to words. Uh -huh. So on the inside, so you can see this here, there's three pockets on the side and then just a really big open area. Um, so this would actually make a fabulous diaper bag um, if I would have found it when I was pregnant or even when I was still using a very bulky diaper bag, I would have hopped on this in a moment. So let me show you the parts that you're all here to see. So this is the ambidextrous concealed carry pocket. It opens on either side. There's Velcro on the inside. It's kind of your standard conceal carry setup. Um, it does come with this holster. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very fond of it. Just I'm not. It doesn't fit things too. I mean, it's it's your basic suede leather. Um, I guess it's leather, and it's just the soft leather um, with the Velcro strap. And it's all right. It would work for, it's multi-purpose. It'll work for just about any gun. Um, it doesn't work for my 350 Ladysmith very well, my J-Frame. It's just, this is too big for that. Um, it does hold my Glock really well, my Glock 17, pretty well. Um, but I just prefer, I have some other holsters with the Velcro already from other purses that I prefer. So I've been using those. Um, yeah, I just really don't. It doesn't really have any, I guess depending on your gun is whether it covers the trigger well, and that was kind of important for me. Uh, it is super padded here, so you're not going to be able to like do anything through that. And there's also something I didn't like about this is it doesn't have any kind of locking mechanism. Um, on a few of my other purses that are ambidextrous, the sides will lock, and so I'll lock up the side that I don't use. Um, so it's only accessible from the side that I do, and so that's nice. Um, but this one doesn't have that. Sure. It also, it's got Velcro on the one side here, and then it's just plain on the other side. I have a few that have Velcro on both sides, and I kind of like that better because it's more secure however you want it. Um, I don't use the pockets for anything but the weapon if I'm concealing with these, um, so I don't need a whole bunch of extra space for other things. So yeah, all in all, if I was still carrying a diaper bag, I would love this. I would prefer if it had some kind of lock, and I guess you could, you could make it have a lock. You could somehow get one of those itty bitty locks or something and lock these together. In fact, that might be, that might be what that's there for, and I just didn't know. <laughs> um, so shout out if I'm wrong. But um, you could very easily lock that together. It wouldn't be extremely secure because I'm pretty sure I could rip that out if I really wanted to. I mean, it's sturdy. It's not just going to tear. Um, but if I really wanted to, I could get into it pretty easy. But yeah, um, if I was still needing a diaper bag, I would love this. Even just as a diaper bag, even if I wasn't concealed carrying, I would love this. Um, now, my son is three. We don't really carry around that much with us. Um... I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose this per se to carry right now. There's a lot of other purses that I have or could get that I would prefer. Um, I do like a couple extra things. It is water wicking, like it's waterproof on the inside, outside, which is awesome. Um, 
But yeah, besides that, there's not a lot of, all the pockets don't like zip closed or anything. So they're just open, um, including the front. The only pocket that zips closed is the concealed pocket. Um, and there's not a lot of fabric here. I feel like, in fact, there were a few times I should have taken a picture of my Glock printed a little bit if I had stuff in here. Um, so you'd have to be aware of that to kind of position things accordingly. But yeah, so all in all, it's great. I would say this purse would be wonderful for someone who has to carry a diaper bag and wants to condense into one bag instead of carrying a purse or anything. And um, just be very conscious since there isn't a lock besides that, which I still think a kid who is intent on opening something could probably get into that, um, even if that was locked together. But yeah, all in all, it is machine washable, I just saw, so that's nice. All in all, it's a nice bag. Like I said, I love the color. It's nice and sturdy, so I don't, I'm not worried about it really ripping or anything. It is waterproof. It's just not my favorite, and it's not something that I would carry without needing a diaper bag. Um, this bag, Jesse picked it up at the NRA convention in Dallas. It does still have the price tag, which I kept with it to send along. Um, it's a pretty hefty price tag. For this so just be aware um, this is definitely what I would consider a higher end purse now it's not above $200 and I know a lot of people who spend more than that which is like crazy to me but I'm kind of cheap so I like I like purses under a hundred dollars if I can so yeah I'm gonna send this off to the next lady and um try another concealed carry bag for you guys and test it out for y'all all right until next time